Hey guys, Marissa, kitchentablestamper.com. Today I've got this cute little Ghirardelli square box for you. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Kind of a kickoff project, fits two squares to my hearts and kisses Valentine's treat class. So this is a little extra bonus project with that same color palette. All right, let's start with a piece of basic black cardstock. This is six and a half by five and a quarter. Let's score it. Pop that in your simply score tool on the six and a half inch side, and you're going to score at two and a quarter, three, five and a quarter, and six. Rotate one time to the right, and you'll score at three quarters, one and a half, three and three quarters, and four and a half. Work the score lines with a bone folder. There it is. Now I'll cut that according to the template. The template photograph is always in the project sheet, principal project sheet. If you're on YouTube, click project details here in the description below the video. That'll take you to the blog post. If you're on the blog, the project sheet is the big red link right below the embedded video. Just click on that and you'll have pro printable project sheet with full color photo, uh, measurements, and supply list. And of course, photographs of templates when that's uh, applicable. All right, so we wanna start with this. We've got a half inch tab in our right hand. And we're starting here with this two and a quarter inch. We're gonna go ahead and debulk this first score line. You'll cut all the way down to the second score line. And then mirror that on the other side. And we'll move one score line to the right and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take a little dart and debulk and mirror that on the other side. Now we have skinny flap, that's two squares. Let's cut one of those squares off right below the score line and mirror that on the other side. Now we've got two big rectangles on each side here. We're gonna go ahead and cut them out. I like to do that by cutting out the score line over here and then and cut all the way across and remove the double rectangle piece. Mirror that on the other side. All right, we're almost there. So we've got four squares here, or two squares and two rectangles. So the next score line to the right, we're gonna cut that down to the second score line and then do a bevel cut and remove the two rectangles, cut off, the little square and we'll do the same thing on the other side there it is there's our box let's round the corners on these largest panels corners are rounded now we've got to adhere our designer series paper got a piece of true love designer series paper it's two and an eight square a couple other patterns on our samples. I'm going to use this little mattress ticking pattern. There's a beautiful floral on the other side. Great paper. Let's go ahead and adhere this to our box. I'm going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue. And get it centered right in that square front. Now I'm going to grab my centering ruler and a pen. We're going to find center. Love that grid paper. Centering ruler, I can't live without. And just mark the zero. It's hard to see that black line on the black pattern, but I think I got it. Still closer than I would have estimated. Now we're going to use a little half inch circle punch and cut a little thumb notch. Next, we need tear and tape. 
on this blue tab and because of the nice big tuck tab on the bottom here we won't need any adhesive on the bottom it really holds even though this chocolate is kind of heavy actually but it holds together real nice without the adhesive all right now we're going to fold not the first score line but the second one from the left first score line from the right we can bring that together there's our box pop it open close it up on the bottom and now you can add your candies got some Ghirardelli squares here you can pop those guys right in and close up my ribbon I've used the red satin double stitch and the magenta madness this is the in color ribbon I'm gonna do magenta madness again I love the colors of both of these. I'm leaning towards a little bit more narrow ribbon as my preference, but they're both gorgeous. Tie a little bow off the side. Okay, I like that. Let's trim off the tails. And time to do some stamping. I need real red, magenta madness. And we're going to get some tuxedo black. Got some scraps here, real red, magenta madness, smoky slate, and whisper white. Our greeting is sealed with a kiss. This is from the Hearts and Kisses bundle. We're going to be using the Hearts and Kisses stamp set with the coordinating punch. You can buy those two prod products together and save 10% with the bundle discount. Just need this sealed width apart, so you can stamp the greeting. Got a little lipstick here, we want the tube. We're gonna use the Tuxedo Black on Smoky Slate. And I want some red lips. We'll do real red on real red. And I want my lipstick to be like this one where it's got the black tube and the pink lipstick. So let's grab our, sh our simple chamois and clean the black ink. We'll switch to Magenta Madness. Take the tip of the lipstick and stamp Magenta Madness on Magenta Madness. Okay, let's clear away the ink pads. Now we've got our awesome lip punch. Hearts and kisses. We can punch out the lips. We're going to cut out sealed with a, uh, in kind of a ransom note style. So just straight cuts do it like you own it they don't have to be perfect that's the fun part about a ransom note style and for our lipstick we're going to cut the tube you want to cut right on the black edge at the top of the tube and then with a small gray edge a little bit past the stamp image Fussy cutting, but it's a pretty simple image. So we'll get that one done. And now our lipstick. We want to cut so there's a little bit of the tube. That's where we're going to glue the lipstick to the tube. And then around the lipstick with a small edge. We've made ourselves a glue tab there. Add some multi purpose liquid glue to it. And bring the tube right up over. Now it looks like our pink lipstick is twisted up out of our black tube. I'm going to grab some black Stampin' Dimensionals and we'll finish up this project. Okay, everybody's got the black Stampin' Dimensionals. Let's go ahead and add our lipstick. I like to do that one first to the left and then our lips. Kind of overlap the lipstick a little bit. 
now sealed with a kiss, ransom note style. And that is our little Ghirardelli square box. Cute, aren't they? Look at that. <laughs> I don't know, which one do you like best? <laughs> so many fun patterns. Mix and match with the pink lips and lipstick. If you got any questions about the project, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And a shop for Stampin' Up! supplies 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.